Hello family of the internet this is Anonymous. We wish to share with you a plea to Anonymous from survivors of New Bethany Girls Home and Mac W. Ford. This plea comes from the repressed screams of the abused, from the fear instilled in those who know the truth and from those who will not sit idle while child abuses roam free, gluttons of all that is evil. The New Bethany Girls Home has decades of documented abuse and as most truth, has been avoided by the mainstream media. Religious organizations, law enforcement and politicians all have a hand in covering up this abuse. A recent talk radio show stirred a new awareness of the abuse inflicted by Mac W. Ford and some of his staff. The message of this show was heard by one of the abused who thought the issue was dead and her cry would never be heard. Because of her inner courage, Amy called but a bit after the original show, the audio of her story is on YouTube. A call has been put out to accomplish the goal of bringing those guilty to justice and to reach and support the abused so they know they have been heard and justice served. At this time several things must happen. 1. Anonymous hackers are asked to obtain any information available in relation to the money trail between all involved. 2. Anonymous activists and advocates are asked to approach known survivors and support them with love and help them overcome the fear so they too may take action. 3. Very soon a day will be planned to engage in an online, phone, email, fax attack of all major news networks demanding they cover the story and call out for more survivors to stand up. The link below will bring you to this full transcript that also contains information related to this cause. To Mac W. Ford and accomplices, not expecting us was the beginning of your demise. We are legion, we do not forgive. We do not forget and we will no longer stay silent while children's screams go unheard and their wounds are left to fester.